Okay, so ngayon, um, ituturo ko sa inyo kung paano hanapin yung resultant moments of A, distance of resultant with respect to A, moments of B, and distance of resultant with respect to B. So, first of all, kailangan muna natin A, so yung value ng resultant. So, to do that, um, summation of f of y is equal to 0. So, all vertical forces must be added algebraically. So, yung gagawin natin, so r is equal to 30, which is ito, acting upward, so positive, minus 20, 20, as it is pointing downwards, so negative, minus 10, and minus 40. They are both acting downward, kaya negative sign. So, yung value ng r natin is negative 40 pound, or simply, r is equal to 40 pound, acting downward. So, yung value ng r natin is 40 pound. So, isulat na agad natin. Acting downward. Next is moments, total moments of A. So, ito yung A natin. So, hanapin natin yung total moments niyan ng mga forces sa A. So, to do that, dito na lang natin ilagay na total moments of A is equals to first, 20. So, 20 times perpendicular distance. So, yung 20, naglalay din mismo sa A. So, therefore, yung distance niya is 0. Plus 10. So, 10 times 2 is 20. Or 10 times 2 lang muna. So, itong moments, assuming na it is circulating or rotating clockwise. So, lahat ng mga forces na nag-move clockwise, positive yung value niya. So, next, ito, 30. So, yung 30, is moving counterclockwise so negative 30 yung perpendicular distance niya 2 plus 3 is 5 and then 40 3 plus 3 plus 2 is 8 so using your calculator let's natin ito simplify into simpler numbers so ito 0 plus 20 minus 150 plus 3 20 so the moment of a natin is equal to 190 feet. So, itong moment sa bay natin is 190 pound feet. Next is, paano natin ma-identify yung distance ng resultant with respect to A? So, alam natin na 14 na yung resultant force. However, hindi natin alam kung saan yung pwesto or yung exact na location ng R. So, para ma-identify yung exact location ng R, so, mayroon kang equation na ganito. So, M is equals to total moment to A. Ito MR, it is a moment of resultant force. So, your resultant force natin is 40. At yung distance, ito yung hinahanap natin. So, the formula ng moment is for time, force times distance. So, ito yung force natin at saka yung distance, ito yung hinahanap natin. So, D sub A is equals to yung value ng total moment of A, which is 190 pounds. So, divide natin both sides by 40 at yung value ng D sub A natin using your calculator is 4.75 feet. So, ito na yung value ng D A natin. 4.75 feet. After that, pwede na natin i-plot yung resultant. So, yung resultant daw is 4.75 feet to A. So, ito, 5. So, assume natin na dito. And since yung 40 is up and down, more dapat downward na nyo itsura ng resultant force natin so it is 40 pound at yung distance nya from dito to dito is 4.75 next is we need to identify total moment to be so yung gagawin natin katulad lang din ito so total moment to be is equal to First, 40. Then, yung distance niya, 0. And assuming, na yung positive na rotation is counterclockwise. Next is, 30. Which is acting clockwise, so negative. Distance niya to be is 3. Next, hindi na include yung resultant. We are solving the forces. Yung natural forces na nag-a-act dito sa plane. So, next is 10, which is 
counterclockwise so positive and your distance now is 6 and lastly 20 and distance now is 8 so using your calculator the value of this is that you need to solve so your total moment will be is equal to is 130 on feet so ito na yung value ng moment B natin 130 on the feet next is that's the distance of resultant with respect to B so alam natin na yung total distance nito is 8 so alam na agad natin na yung value dito may simply subtracting 8 or subtracting 4.75 to 8 so 8 minus 4.75 so this mode must be 3.25 So, alam na natin na itong DB is 3.25 feet However, kung kailangan ng solution, ipapakita ko na lang sa inyo So, MR is equals to total moments B So, yung MR natin, yung resultant is 40 um, At yung distance niya, DB was to the total moments ng B which is ito. so divide natin both sides by 40 and yung DV natin is using your calculator it is 3.25 so diba? tama sya dito so ganun lang maghanap ng um, distance ng resultant whether point A or point B so sana ma-apply nyo ito sa inyong lesson at pag i-mention na lang din, yung mga kaklasin yung nahihirapan sa ganitong lesson. At sa ganun, ay matuto din sila. Salamat!